This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal Media. I'm here today with Missy Bauer, Associate Field Agronomist for Farm Journal. And Missy, we've been talking about seed quality, and you're wanting to talk to farmers today about uh, giving some attention to the seed quality now. Think about testing before they go to the field. Um, what are some of those messages? Yeah, over the last couple of years, we've seen some concerns with certain seed lots. It's by no means a thing that's, you know, industry wide every seed or every hybrid that's out there but we have seen some individual hybrids individual lot numbers where we've had some issues with seed quality when we're talking about seed quality we mean things like pericarp damage where we actually get small cracks in the seed coat Uh, we're also talking about things like saturated cold scores so typically when you look at your seed tag it'll talk about warm germination well, warm germination, you know, is an indication of initial seed quality, but a lot of times we're planting under cold and wet conditions as we push to early planting dates. So I get uh, interested in looking at what we call the saturated cold score. So if we get saturated cold scores that don't have very good germ to them under those wet, damp conditions, then maybe that hybrid I don't want to plant first. Maybe that's a hybrid that I plant, you know, toward the tail end of my season instead of the one that I'm out there the first first few days when I know soil temps are kind of marginal on how cold they are. So we encourage growers to do some seed quality testing. You can send the seed into the lab, you know, in March or early April, get the results back, and then make management decisions based on it. Um, One thing that we look at with the pericarp damage where we get cracks in the seed coat is if you're using in-furrow or pop-up fertilizer, we want to be careful if we get very high, severe pericarp damage. Well, maybe it's not worth the risk of seed injury due to burn from the from the salt content and fertilizer versus the gain we're trying to get in yield by running the pop-up or the infertile fertilizer. So those are some things we're looking at and encourage growers to get their seed tested so as they go into spring they're not going in blindly as far as issues with their seed and their quality. If we know where it's at, know what it's testing, we can make better management decisions going into spring. Okay, thank you.